My name is Caleb Postma, and I'm a refrigeration mechanic and gas technician. Right now, we're actually expanding quite a bit. We have uh, we started out doing just sheet metal. Uh, we added plumbing about 10 years ago, and uh, two years ago, we started doing electrical. So we're currently expanding, and we're always looking for more people and good people. Trades aren't always easy. Uh, sometimes it's dirty. Sometimes you're in a crawl space or an attic. Um, but if we if we show people the respect uh, and dignity that they deserve being a tradesperson, um, it, it makes uh, makes for a better work environment. Hi, my name is Andrew. Uh, I used to live in the Greater Toronto area, and recently, within the last couple of years, I moved to Chatham Kent, and I currently live in the city of Chatham. Uh, and after, shortly after coming here, uh, my first employer that I received employment through was Postma Heating and Cooling. Um, I'm somebody who didn't always work in the trades, but within the last five years or so I got involved uh, because I was working a career that I was definitely not satisfied with. Uh, and I have found great satisfaction, not just in working in the trades, but also working for Postman Heating and Cooling. You get a lot of variety in your days. Uh, no two days are alike. Uh, I get to use great problem solving skills. Uh, I feel like I'm a part of a greater team at work and I feel like my voices and my opinions are appreciated by everyone. Um, and that's part of what leads me into the next part of this, is that working for Postman has been a great experience in the sense that it is a great family-run business. Uh, although we are bigger and expanding every day, uh, I still feel like I'm treated like an individual by the owners and by all the management and by everybody I have to deal with at work. Uh, and it's a great feeling to go to work every day. I'm a service technician with the company, which means that if something's broken at your house when it comes to heating and cooling, I'm usually the one there to uh, come and fix it. Uh, but I've had nothing but great experiences in my travels in town, around town, out on farms and everywhere, everything in between uh, around here. We work with uh, almost all the local high schools. We take co-op students. Uh, I think it's about three to four per semester every year. Um, and we have, uh, we actually have several co-op students that, well, previous co-op students, they're actually uh, long-term employees here. They've been here for several years. To become an apprentice, uh, literally we just uh, we hire you and um, if you get through the, the first you know, 90 days or 120 days and you show that you can actually be a good employee and work hard and you've got an aptitude for it, sign you up and uh, within a few years you'll be a licensed, licensed uh, tradesman. We are in our um, training lab where we have live operating equipment. Uh, what we try to do is we make sure that people, when they come here, they don't, the first time they've seen a furnace is not just the one that was in their basement. Um, we try to show them what, uh, what a furnace works, how it works. We actually have a gas course that we run um, internally, so you can actually get a ticket here in-house um, so that you're hit the ground running. We always encourage our employees to get licensed. We actually have uh, three people leaving in September to go to trade school. Uh, we never try to hold them back. We always encourage them to get licenses and we want as many people here to be licensed and get better at their job and, and do better for the community. It's, uh, I always consider it a win, a win for the company when it's a win for the employees, uh, which makes it a win for Chatham. 